another delicious meal ahead at Safe Haven B and B. Spoiled, spoiled, I say. <laughs> Thank you, Elena and Dan, for the stay at Safe Haven Hostel. We have so much. <laughs> She's got three pounds of fruit and beers in there. Look at this back. Ah! Oh, hot, hot, hot day. This area is so busy because the big foot race is on. A mountain, Crow's Nest Mountain. So glad when I was climbing that. Yeah, it's, this is enough. <laughs> pa -pa 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 power lines. Power lines. <laughs> I got dust in my mouth. <laughs> Boom! Gun range! What the heck? On the trail. Happened to the road here, man. What kind of road is this, eh? Extreme danger. Don't shoot your guns at the pipeline. Please, we need to put the sign here. <laughs> Hot road walk, ATV road walk to Atlas Staging. Hopping on a Saturday afternoon. Back to it. I ate some of Elena's brownies and goodies for my treat. It is 2 p.m. Finally, heading off this crazy road. <laughs> some wet feet. Great Divide Trail Canada. Orange blazes. Racy people. Our trail is here. Uh oh, you see that thing up there? I believe that's where we're going. Hot, hot. The Great Divide mating call. <laughs> Vitamin I. 400 milligrams TID. <laughs> this is great. Stop going down, trail. We gotta go this way up. Loving it so far. High Rock Alternative. This is the stuff. Glorious, glorious hiking. Yeah. Glorious, glory, glorious hiking. I am having a good time this afternoon once I got away from all those dusty dirt bikes tearing it up and popping wheelies trying to impress us. Guess what? We are not impressed. You're motorized. <laughs> dun, 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 da, da. Dun, 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 dun. So uh, today's uh, guest narrator is me, Kate. Uh, the section is called uh, Trail Nutritional Advice from Kate Slivko. Um, I have many pearls to offer. This is not, by the way, professional medical advice. I will not be held liable for uh, the numerous negative consequences you may suffer. But uh, the first very important food group is uh, beer, at least one tall boy a day um, that you carry on your back. So many an excuse to consume it. This is uh, Abbey style brown ale from Old Man River Brewing. So it's the first food group. The second food group is obviously beef jerky for the protein and the electrolytes um, never forget large quantities of very heavy fruit so you don't get scurvy but also for trail clout because who carries stuff like that and last but not least i mean at the very minimum i would suggest at least three pounds of assorted candy for example um cereal milk crushed fruit loops trademarked in cereal milk or lucas salsa getty 
watermelon and tamarind uh, flavored hot candy. Salsagetti? Salsagetti, that's what it's called. Oh, what else? There's more salsagetti, that's just tamarind. Um, more fruit, you know, I need that fiber. Plus, we gotta represent British Columbia. Fifth Avenue bar. Thank you, Crow's Nest Pass Candy Shop. Um, exotic M&M's white chocolate. And uh, we could keep going, but I don't want to be a robed on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from this view, it is bombing up. I just went past the junction. Can I come back down? And then... We lost a lot of elevation. <laughs> and I'll just go in. We went really steep up this area. And now I think the GPS says we're supposed to be on that trail down there. But I don't want to lose the elevation I've gained. I had to backtrack from way over there and I totally missed this little thing here. I guess I wasn't expecting to be going down and then up again. <laughs> Hi, Rock Trail. <laughs> Where is the trail? This looks like super defined. That's why I thought this was the way. For once, I'm ahead of Keith. I think I'm getting close to the top. Okay, I think this is the high point. I am excited to see the view on the other side. It's definitely a descent. Where's my view? Where am what I? hole? There's a oh, in the mountain, yeah. that's why it's called Window Mountain. Exactly. <laughs> This is the viewpoint of the valley. Okay. You see that little hole? Window. We don't know which way we go. You think we're gonna go and down and over? We have about 5K left today, 7 p.m. Fancy GDT sign. No motorized vehicles, please. Keep your dirt bikes and ATVs somewhere else, peeps. Meanwhile, we go on to an ATV road. Break at a little creek. It's about 7.30. The trail took us somewhere weird, like on a stream, and then we walked around, and then we found a, tra a better trail. Up we go. Not that high. Oh dear, dear Lord, not that high. Came from up there and across the valley. The divide. Two and a half kilometers. In the middle of nowhere is an info sign. Less than a kilometer ahead. Not expect. Another pass at the end of the day. Huffing and puffing. We're just about here. Bear bins are pretty far away. Where is this lake? Oh. Lake, lake, lake. Lake, lake, lake. Where are we gonna put our tent? In loving memory of Alexis. A nice spot to rest. My tent is set up. I'm looking for sheep. Scanning the rock. Nope. No bighorns. We'll grace our presence tonight. The high rock alternative so far been pretty good. There are some frustratingly steep bits, but that's everywhere on the GDT. And um, yeah, this is a super wonderful place to camp. And I'm really glad I came here. And I'm so hungry. I have a hungry. How's camp setup going? All pretty good. There were actually a 
probably two nice campsites on another side of the creek, but I figured you probably set yours up already. Ah, yeah. By the toilet. Hmm?